Hey, what's going on YouTube? Swift bringing you a brand new Dead Frontier 2 video today. In the last video, we went over how to make money using the Trader Marketplace. And in this video, I'll show you how I level up my character using the Trader Marketplace and how you could do the same. Let's get into the video. Before going to the market, I think it's important to start by thinking through what specific build you're looking to make for your character whether it be a rifle build like you know i did as you can see here a rifle build or you know shotgun melee whatever it is you have your skills and effects here on the left and you can go over and, and kind of hover over the different uh skills and effects i won't go through all of them but we'll just take you know, a few for example, real quick. Headhunter 5 is 25% headshot damage. So a level of headhunter is equal to 5% headshot damage, okay? Then you go on down the line, and let's just say we'll pick another one, right? A little more complex scenario, but in this scenario, you have aim speed and then all the different weapon attack speeds below that okay aim speed being a global skill and then the attack speed being specific to a weapon that's not melee all right what we're going to do is go to the market and you know last time i showed you what you could do in terms of trying to make money by scrapping clothing but but with this guide what you want to try to do is is just imagine that there's always going to be some sort of trade-off when you're trying to level up your character and it's you know you're not going to get everything you want with one set of equipment but you can make a lot of progress with the various gear that exists just by selecting one at a time and kind of going through it so where i would start the other video but you can go to clothing now it depends on what level you are you know where you're at but level 15 okay level 15 level 15 and you just want to get an idea of what what's out there what you could even do give you a couple quick examples here so remember how i showed you you know the attack speed uh for the quick shot so for every 10% attack speed, that's basically a partial level for quick shot. Okay. So really to technically level your character, you'd want to combine that with aim speed. Suffice to say, you might not get that with superior, but we'll give you, you know, the fact that you can see both of them, both of these skills are in separate pieces of gear. So you want to get them both on the same piece of gear you're going to want to upgrade or you know search the rare quality grade instead and then see what you get in instead you have health restoration which is under the medic skill you have find weapon chance you know if, if you want to have a higher percentage chance for that and then you have the aim speed like i alluded to before you just go through these and there you'll find a hat that's find a lot of different chances right maybe this is good for a looter build where you're not really looking for direct confrontation with the zombie direct fights with the zombie right but you're in and you're out but you're as you're going through and searching you're just trying to increase your no fine chances so that's fine ammo capacity i think it's 10 percent for every reload level so that's pretty much a level right there it's just you know how you want to think about it uh in the end in the end game ultimately improvements to your character aren't going to be as drastic thus when you get to a point where you're you know you're going through you're leveling up you've you know Check back with this video a couple times just to see, okay, this is what Swift said. Uh, you can go and as you progress forward, you're going to see that there's more different combinations of skills 
with with potential gear that you could buy honestly you could think of it also as if you were to buy an upgrade just pause this one for a second so if you were to say okay well this is really good for accuracy 900 bucks and you get some health restoration so that's a medic level well if you were to go to upgrade and you were to see what an emergency syringe costs 779,000 for 20% health restoration you found a piece of equipment that had that on there for 900 bucks so it doesn't always have to be you spend a lot of cash to get a level however the reason why this is as much expensive as it is is because it's specific to a weapon and your weapons don't always have to have ammo capacity or certain other upgrades where this might make sense for a build right so just to give you an idea but basically if you really want to kind of go for it you would go say you want to have the best armor that you can get that's an elite go and you really want health incoming damage <laughs> like what's the point of really good armor right you're you're trying to ward off attack and you're trying to tank you're trying to endure right so you have incoming damage health and you know you want to be able to carry a lot too let's just say if level's not an issue for you because you're level 50, you search. And then we'll actually go to armor. I meant this. So you'll see uh, once you start kind of going for these combinations, it's going to be more expensive typically. However, if you're looking for really good armor, what my suggestion would be is to go for a Kevlar vest. We're going to type in Kevlar and uh, for example now you're gonna and then, and then what you're gonna try to do is, is, is i i felt like i've tried to you know with mine to have a good example of what you could expect to get in an elite you know armor plate given uh some patience and maybe some luck but the research of the market to help uh find those uh combinations you're looking for now for me when i'm going through this and I'm, I'm kind of particular so if i'm going to upgrade i'm really trying to think through okay what's the most important for me with a, a rifle build i'm gonna get i'm gonna take damage i'm gonna take hits so i'm gonna you know health incoming damage right but my my build typically well the way i've seen the game mostly is is a stealth build so visibility range you can see minus 25 i mean that's the maximum you can get on uh equipment that's not unique i'm pretty sure so that i mean that was a really that was an excellent role but you got to you got to think of that in combination with the other skills right so for every 15% of health that's one uh, level in toughness, okay? Now, I know it's not the same thing with the threshold and recovery for incoming stun, but the way I see it is, okay, I'm also getting incoming stun. Then I'm trying to think of it as, okay, well, I am still, I am still contributing to leveling up my character that way too. So this is basically, you could see it as two levels of toughness. And then you have a plus, so plus inventory capacity, 48. So that's basically almost five levels in inventory. All right, so that's five levels. So you have seven levels so far. Visibility range, you can't really level that. But if, if, if every 5% was a level, then that'd be five levels right there. Incoming damage, I mean, the only 
example we have to go off of is survivor which is minus two percent they recently added that this would be 10 levels of incoming damage the reason why i have equipped the polyethylene plates on the vest is because with with the damage reduction being maxed at 75 percent then what armor does is it takes an additional 29 percent off of the remaining damage you see that number in green here. So 25% damage is taken by the character on a swipe, let's say by a Titan. You're reducing that hit by 29%. So if you round it up to 33, just, I put this for example, right? You're reducing about another 8% of damage. You want to look at it that way. It's just a different way of doing it. So really your incoming damage percent more like 28 minus. The armor plates are also contributing to leveling up. It's just a different way of viewing it. So uh, ultimately you go through and let's say you have your setup similar to mine, enough to where, I mean, it's mostly rares, uniques, elites whatever you would just start from the head slot and just kind of go all the way down if you can get six different skills with good rolls that's the kind of gear that you want to upgrade with uh, the different upgrades for the head slot for me what i did was i upgraded with the festive badge to increase my find unique and find elite chances use the trader to upgrade your character by leveling up and trying to rank up your statistics for me my next goal would be to try to get more toughness you know max out armor i would take away medic because i already have the medical gear with me to where i'll still heal plenty and then i could put that point into reloading or something else do your research and just you know, refer back to this video, kind of get a gauge of what's in the market and, you know, best of luck to you. And uh, yeah, so thanks everyone for watching and catch you on the next one. Peace.